Well, what the heck are we supposed to make of this breathtaking Axavon Sciences today with the stock chased under the symbol AXON, rocking 99.3% higher on its first day of trading in a deal that some are calling the biggest biotech IPO ever. Now, you guys know that I've been a big fan of some of the smaller development stage biotechs, even as they can be very risky. Think Receptos, which is up uh, more than 15% since I last highlighted it a week ago. But after this monster move and Axavon, which came public at 15 this morning and is now trading just under 30, we want to be sure that things have gotten a little too ahead of themselves. Perhaps the group, uh, you know, well, we got to see, because you know I don't like it when it's too hot. Axavon has just one uh, drug in the pipeline. It's RVT-101. It's an orally administered therapy designed to improve cognition in patients with Alzheimer's, which the company acquired from GlaxoSmithKline for a $5 million upfront payment last December. In a phase two study, the drug helped alleviate the symptoms of Alzheimer's, but it didn't actually change the course of the disease. It's worth mentioning that the clinical trial has been viewed with some skepticism, although the strength of the IPO says it doesn't pay to be too skeptical, at least when it comes to getting in on the deal. Now, Axavon plans to move this drug into phase three trials later this year. And yes, if everything goes perfectly, then it could be a very compelling story. However, we always have to remember, because we've talked about this Alzheimer's for a lot on the show, investors have a long history of getting burned by potential Alzheimer's drugs that had attracted to phase two data, but never actually made it to the market. And given that Glaxo sold this drug for $5 million up front, along with some milestone payments and royalties later on, you have to wonder if it should be worth $2.87 billion. That's the current valuation of, of Axavon for today. But then again, as we said on many occasions, you can truly hit it big in biotech land with the right new drug. So let's take a closer look with Vivek Ramaswamy, the CEO of Axavon Sciences, learn more about his newly public company. Mr. Ramaswamy, welcome to Mad Money. Good to see Thank you, you, sir. Very good, good to see you. you. Okay, Vivek, Thanks I didn't meet there. you before at school. I know you're an alma mater. You're summa cum laude graduate. Congratulations. Thank you. Good to be back. Okay. Yeah. Um, tell me why Glaxo kind of wrote this drug off, and yet you have such great hopes for it. So I obviously can't speak for other companies sure. other than, than, than Axivan, right. but what I can tell you is that RVT-101 is a unique drug that we actually think could help millions of patients with Alzheimer's disease. Our focus is actually on the, tra on the treatment of Alzheimer's disease, dementia, and other forms of dementia. And we've actually put together what I view as a top-notch team in the industry okay. involving the developer of the most widely used drug to treat Alzheimer's disease, who actually led our due diligence on this asset okay. and actually will lead our development program going forward. And actually on our board of directors is the former head of neurosciences from GSK that actually led the development of this drug, who sits on our board right now. And all of those individuals are every bit as excited as we are okay. about well, the development of Well, then of the walk us through what we've seen so far, because we know, as I said, there's a bunch of companies that have gone in phase two, and we get so excited, yeah. but then uh, it doesn't work out in phase Absolutely. three. Why do you think you're ahead of those other companies that have never been able to bring that to market? That's a great question. Okay. And, and the thing in Alzheimer's disease to remember, and, and we remember this all the time at Axiom, is we don't fully understand the way the actual underlying disease work, not just us at Axiom, right. but the field more generally. Right. But the thing with RVT-101 is it's actually a neurotransmitter targeted therapy that actually in part works through the release of acetylcholine, which is already known to be an effective mechanism of action, because that's actually very similar to how the currently approved drugs work. Okay. And so the way the drug works is has been demonstrated in clinical trials. In a large phase two study, phase two B study, with 684 patients, multinational, double-blind, mm -hmm. placebo-controlled study, and this is the key, on the pre-specified analysis, not some type of reanalysis or subgroup analysis, but on the pre-specified analysis, the drug actually demonstrated statistically significant improvements in both cognition and in function out to 24 weeks in a way that was maintained out to a full year in time. So that's actually what we think makes this such an exciting opportunity. In addition to its safety and tolerability profile, it's a really well-tolerated drug, and you take it as one pill once a day. And, oh. and, and, and we think that we're, we're very excited about its development going forward. Okay, well, let, let's look at it. We have to be skeptical. You were a former hedge fund manager. I would always be nervous when I would see a stock that would be as hot as this one. I, I don't believe you have anything else right now in the pipeline. With the, if you were a hedge fund yeah. manager when you got in shares in, 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 in this stock and you just had seen Axivent and said, would you have rung the register today? So, you know, I can't, I can't comment exactly on my investor seat because right now I'm actually thinking about this as, as the person who's developing course, this course. company. Of course, of course. You know, and, you know, and I'm not really trying to put you in the spot, but I, I tell you, I, if I were a hedge fund manager, I got it. I, I would have said, geez, that was a home run. It yes. Got, you know, so so, so let, me, let, me actually, let me actually speak directly to it then. Okay. I actually think the potential opportunity here is is really tremendous for delivering value to patients. There's over 5 million patients who suffer from Alzheimer's disease mm -hmm. in this country alone. And if you think about it, we own global rights to a drug 
that has already demonstrated in a large phase 2B study efficacy on the two parameters that the FDA has historically required for new Alzheimer's disease drugs. And actually, we're only one, we believe, we're only one additional phase 3 study away from the approval of this drug well, on a global basis. And how long do you think, uh, what has been the course that the FDA wants for phase three, six months, a year, two years. What have you seen? Because you know it's yes, it, it takes a long time. Yes. Yeah, so, so historically, uh, actually, all of the currently approved drugs for Alzheimer's disease were generally approved on the basis of 24 to 28 week data, and that's what we think is going to be the consistent requirement going forward as well. So our planned phase three trial, which we intend to start later this year, in the fourth quarter of this year, is going to be a study that's approximately six months in duration. And based on the phase 2B data, which was already, as, right. as I mentioned, showed efficacy on cognition and on function, we think could have a, a meaningful opportunity in there, the phase 3 study. There was something that was different, and I went through the S1, which was that there were two hedge funds, I think, that had a shorter lockup time. Is there a way to change that so they have the same time as everybody? Actually, let me speak to something, because okay. that's, that's actually a great point to clarify. So the two investors that had indicated an indication of interest right. on the cover were actually not insiders, that is to say, existing investors. Okay. These are new investors who actually agreed to a restriction above and beyond what the other investors in the, in the IPO actually well, I'm agreed I'm glad to clear that up, because yeah. I know that, you know, people, look, people, when they see a red hot stock, when I see a red hot stock, yeah. I don't want to get people hurt. You know that. Uh, and, absolutely. And it's yeah, going to, yeah. you know, you, you got one drug, and, you know, everyone hopes that it works. I think you're asking the, all the right questions, exactly. Fair enough. Okay, well, we're going to be, you know, we follow in this situation, and I think, you know, look, I just hope the drug works. How absolutely. That, right? We're looking forward to it. Everyone wants it to work. Okay, that's Vivek Ramaswamy. He's the president and CEO of what may be the most successful biotech or the biggest biotech offering of the year, most certainly. Uh, that's Axavin Sciences. Please do some homework. Go through plenty of documents. Mad Money's back in for the break. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.